So the MMO game is strong right now. And this is actually one of my favorites. I'm gonna give you guys the quick review on Swords of Legends Online. <laughs> Are you ready? So okay, without further ado, let's actually hop into it, guys. Oh, by the way, don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this game in the comments below. Thank you, guys. So right off the gate, some of the things that I noticed that were like super cool about this one is that you had a plethora of things that you could change. Another really cool feature is just by dragging the mouse on certain areas of your character's face, you're actually able to make those changes right off the gate. That coupled with a lot of different skin tones to choose from and a lot of different styles of the face that were already preset, you can kind of rock and roll however you want it to go. I will say though, even yet still, you weren't actually able to change your character's ethnicity. This game was created based off of Chinese mythology, so it only makes sense that your character is going to maintain the look and style of that. This is one I hadn't seen in a while, playing with the voices of your character. But you also get to play around with emotes, actions, and then you can play around with your costumes as well. So you had quite a few things that you could fiddle around with in it, which made character customization a lot more in depth and fun before you even got into the game. Now hold up, let's actually take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this game is. Even on its load screens, you're just sitting there looking at beautiful, beautiful layouts and landscapes. It's great. This has to be another one of my favorites. The ability to be floating around in the air, looking at the beautiful world, and then out of nowhere, you can just zoom into action. Come on now. This game's offering a lot of cool things, little features that just make it more fun to play. You tell me a game where you can skip across water and just look at the beautiful world around you and appreciate everything about it. They really did a masterful job at making this game just look and flow and feel amazing. This game has an amazing store for cosmetics. They give you everything you could want in there. They even give you crystal dust for free on a daily basis if you're logging in. But if you're a cosmetic person, you can get in here and style your character however you want to style your character. I have to admit, it is 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 top notch, guys. Hold up, wait. If you want to run that back, feel free to, because that skill tree is a little more in depth than you thought it would be. It's actually two different skill sets. Something to learn about this game is every class has multiple skill sets, making it where you can be a healer, a sustainer, or a damage dealer. It's pretty cool. Let's get into it guys. Let's talk about the combat in the game. You get quite a few skills, which made this feel like a real deal MMO. The fact that you're putting skills together, you're laying down combos, you're putting all the pieces of the puzzle together. You've got so much you can do and so many different ways to play because the skill tree is split in two. The combat is fluid, it's beautiful, it's colorful, it's vibrant. There are even finishers that can be performed while in the combat. I'll show you one here in just a second. <laughs> now, of course, as you can probably see, some of your skills actually require resource use, which is not new in an MMO. But one of the coolest things, you go to this world and you fight these enemies, and it's just like a huge raid. You're able to mash it up with some other players and even be healed by them. This is awesome. And yes, I was too low level, so I had to run away. <laughs> Another really cool thing about this game is you actually get to test and practice using your abilities. So it's not just on the front lines when you're in the game, you're learning on the fly, but you can actually go to a training area to put down and deal out the damage and learn your combos in a way that makes you more effective when you do go fight those bosses or enemies that are in the battlefield. I found a lot of value in this and every time I learned a new ability, I tried to go here to see exactly how that ability would work and if there was a better flow to follow. All right, let's jump into gear. Probably one of the more exciting pieces to any MMO is the gear that you can find and grind for. They lay it out pretty cool and show you the attributes that are gonna be important to your character. And you'll also be able to see a lot of other things that are impacted based on the gear that you're wearing. 
I will say the one thing that caught me off guard was when you're equipping rings and earrings or things that are in doubles, you need to make sure that you're equipping the newest and the best in each slot. Just clicking it will only replace slot one of the earring or slot one of the ring, not the slot, slot two. So it's important to go back and check and make sure you're equipped properly. Another really interesting factor about the game is that it supports PvP and PvE based gear. So you can rock PvP gear in a PvE area, but it's not really going to give you the benefits. You're not going to be getting the bonuses out of the PvP or PvE stuff if you're wearing in the wrong place. So it's important to have a gear set 1 or 2 that reflects either or if you choose to play either or. I'm not a big PvP player, so I only have like three pieces of PvP gear myself. So here's the good. Visually stunning, super cool things you can do as far as flying in the air, running across the water. Combat in dungeons is really fun as well. So you can either do dungeons, you can do bounty hunting, or you can search the souls with the lantern and defeat those beasts as well. The pros outweigh the cons in my opinion. This game is really good and worth the play. Yeah, that's it. There's a lot of bonus stuff to the game that gives you things to do in your downtime. That coupled with an amazing store, you can find all kinds of great things as far as cosmetics that make you feel good about the game. But let's quickly cover the things that weren't so good. Voiceovers in this game were terrible. It was a port in, so they had to make sure that they got voice actors to do everything in English. So when you play this game in English, the words don't match up, cutscenes are often cut off without knowing what was really going on, and you have to be a pretty fast reader to keep up with everything in those cutscenes. It's not terrible, but it is a big drag on the game. Another thing, dungeons, the ones you get to do to find the good, the good gear, can only be done on hard mode once per week, so it takes dungeon grinding to a really slow halt. But those are the two things that I'm not excited about when it comes to what I like in a game. So clearly, as you can see, this MMO offers you quite a lot. Uh, you've got so many different things, and, but what really excites me the most, why I really do love this game, is how beautiful it is. I don't recall any MMOs that looked like this good all the way through, from combat to just the way the world looks. Dang, even the load screens are beautiful. If you're looking for a really fun MMO that gives you quite a bit to do and quite a bit to learn, then I, I suggest hop into Swords of Legends Online. You'll probably be really surprised. Thank you guys for hanging out, and as always, we'll see you next time.